Alright, what's for an epic freaking update finder here and today we're gonna be playing some more AZ the Fist. Well then boys, you actually read this title correct. This game received a melee rework. And we also got a new map called The Neighborhood and this is the map. I mean, it's kinda small. But honestly, it's pretty freaking lit. So with the melee rework, we actually got parry and projectile deflection. And we also got, you know, some new moves when you actually swipe the Zs. Hey, yo, I'm actually parrying the dude. Oh, po, oh, po. So yeah, the weapon is gonna be doing progressively more damage the more you... Well, yeah, click with it, so that's kind of cool. What should I say? First one's gonna do, like, less damage than the second one. And then the poke does giga freaking damage. But yeah, projectile deflection is definitely the best part of this whole freaking update. I mean, parrying, yeah, it's kind of cool, you know, when you actually get it right. It's pretty freaking satisfying. Now, to be fair, you know, with these, like, blowy up dudes, yeah, you just, like, shoot them as normally, but... Let me just get a demonstration. Like, here we go. So look, he's actually parried and stunned. And then you can easily itch up in my links, man. Just blew up right in my face. But yeah, for the past three hours, yeah, I've just been playing the living crap out of this game. And honestly, dude, it's just so freaking fun. What the f Oh, there he goes. E boy. Oh god, the parry is just so good. So the parry, it does act pretty much the same as, you know, Killing Floor 2. But instead of the middle mouse, yeah, you just uh, right click with it. But yeah, just clicking it is gonna like parry or deflect projectiles. But if you actually click and hold, yeah, you're gonna get into block. And as far as I know, yeah, blocking is gonna be reducing incoming damage by, I think, 60 or 80%. But yeah, this update, mm -hmm actual mm, just perfection man and you know fun fact you can actually deflect your uh, will your teammates projectiles I and mean, fair enough i don't have like any teammates right now not sure why i didn't like record before when we had a full freaking lobby but yeah okay i'm just gonna quickly show you the new seasonal objectives you got well yeah this thing as a reward the homing z kaboomer so yeah so many double kills make a double kill using a single bullet six six nine times deflect 200 flying explosives from zeds or teammates i mean obviously i've done that already and then we have parry master yep successfully parry a total of 500 zeds and then we have laser fence to the rescue, purchase 21 laser fences. Okay, this one I have to do. One switch, switch the class at pugs 12 times. Not sure why this is even like a freaking challenge, but sure. Then we also have cut cut and away, kill 600 zeds using melee weapons. And this one's pretty freaking easy with, you know, the whole melee rework. And then we also have a friend in need, just heal a teammate for, well, yeah, a long ass freaking time with the doctor's arc rifle. Then we have complete 21 objectives and complete 32 daily objectives. So yeah, we also have the shit on the map. Yeah, you can get on top of this house and have a cool way to look on the map. Dude, the map is just so freaking huge, but you're just, like, contained in this, like, well, yeah, small portion here. Okay, destroyed. But, yeah, I mean, the melee, you don't have to, like, always play with the melee. Yeah, you can just, like, go and, well, yeah, chop them up with your freaking noses. Even more freaking satisfying. So, the melee rework, yeah, it's there. You know, if you want to just, like, go party some fools up and, you know, deflect some projectiles. Oh, God. Yeah, rest in pieces, freaking Zeds. Yeah, I think this update is pretty much like the best one we freaking received. Oh, there we got like a projectile, dude. Yep, deflect that shit. Oh, he actually got me there. Hey, yo. Oh, and now he's reloading there. We can actually kill him with his own projectile. I mean, I think I can. I mean, I should be able to. Oh, and my man. Oh, I killed him by accident. Whoops. So projectile deflection if it's extremely useful for the bosses because each and every boss has a projectile and you can just like fling him right back at the boss. Easy fucking cla- oh here we go. Okay, deflect your ass. Oh ho ho ho. 
Wait, did you miss your own shit? Oh my god. So this is pretty much the update. It lasted three months and I think it was worth the wait. I mean, you do have to keep in mind that this game is, you know, being developed by a single freaking dude and the amount of passion my man has. Yeah, I can see this game being quite successful once it comes out of early access. And I mean, to be fair, even now, it's just so freaking fun. Okay, reload my shit. There we go. Just gonna put the Tesla coil right up here, get another one, and we should be good to go. And by the way, there's even a freaking pool on this map. I mean, look at this shit. Even a flamingo, fam. We can't step on the flamingo. Oh, but of course. Easy to clap. And we also got like a bunch of random ass freaking containers here. Yeah, I can just like slide and roll in them, which is kind of cool. God, I love the movement of this. Oh, pa, oh, pa. He even added the sound for when you hit the metal thing. You know, the shit he has on the back. Okay, can I parry some stuff up? Oh, but of course, I'll just look at all the parries. Ooh. Get destroyed. So the melee weapons, yeah, they're kind of like overpowered a little bit now. Ain't even gonna lie. I'm in my freaking exhaust pipe here. I just poke the siren head. Ooh. I mean, did you actually just hear that sound? Okay, we got a bunch of Zeds. Didn't actually parry him because he didn't go for an attack. Dude, honestly, I'm not even sponsored or anything like that. I just really enjoy the game. Honestly, the best game I played in freaking ages. Okay, let's just go and roll to the other side of the map and then just like go to town on every single dude. My god. Okay, let's just go and melee some fools now. Oh, get parried, bitch. Yeah, boy. Dude, that like poke attack, it's just like so freaking powerful. Okay, let's just go and parry your ass. Annihilated. And let's just roll into the final dude. My Jesus. So if you guys don't even know what the hell this game is, I highly, highly recommend it. I'm just so freaking in love with it. Okay, yeah, let's just heal to 100%, maybe throw down a Tesla coil, smack dab in the middle of the map and get myself... Yeah, just like another one. Just because I can. Okay, we got the shit on 8 waves and I think I'm actually hosting a server. Yes, I am. So if someone is gonna be joining, yep, we're gonna be playing some good old uh, multiplayer. Oh, a hey boy. God, I love that sound, man. <laughs> Actual perfection. Boy. Okay, can I parry some dudes? Here we go. Yeah, the Zeds do have to be a little bit more consistent with their swings, you know, for the parry to, you know, take full effect, because right now, yeah, this dude, he was just like, you know, running into me without actually punching me there. Oh, there we go. That one freaking punched. But yeah, if he makes it so, will yeah, the Zeds punch a little bit more consistently, yep, the parry is gonna be way more useful. But I mean, the mechanic is in the game. And it works freaking flawlessly, pretty much. Okay, let's just finish this wave and let's just explore the map just a little bit. Oh, we got another one of these puke masters here. But yeah, I mean, the map, honestly, like I said, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, but it kind of works. So if you're looking directly at them, yep, you're gonna be deflecting projectiles Will yeah, straight back. I mean, you just have to be like quick with your right click. Oh, uh -huh, click with the right click. Honestly, having so much freaking fun with this game. I can't even put it into words. Now, I'm just like hoping for the dev to do something for Halloween. Maybe add, you know, not necessarily a new map, but a sight melee weapon. I mean, that would be just so, so perfection. What the what the freaking stalker just like out of nowhere. Dude, the loadout I have currently, you know, the freaking oozes and... Well, yeah, the exhaust pipe, definitely the best freaking loadout, up. I didn't bury him. Okay, there we go. Just get your projectile right back in your face. Oh, we got Acid Pug Master over here, boy. God, I love that sound. So, if you guys like, you know, fast-paced, you know, satisfying shooter games, yeah, this is definitely the game to pick up. This shit actually replaced Killing Floor for me, and I'm not even joking. I do actually prefer the fast-paced stuff that this game provides. Now, you know, Killing Floor 2, yeah, it can be fast-paced as well. And, I mean, there's, like, obviously a little bit more content in Killing Floor 2, but... 
I mean, for what you're getting here, definitely worth it, fam. Wait, didn't I say we're gonna be exploring the map a little bit? Well, whoops. Just like having too much fun whacking some zeds. Oh, siren. Tefok. But yeah, I mean, the movement and this map, yeah, definitely kind of smooth. You can just like go on rooftops, you know, we can go into the freaking pool. I mean, the map is, you know, relatively flat. And, you know, we got like some of these, so you can do some uh, hardcore uh, parkour. Kind of cool. Okay, explode the dude out of my face. Okay, there's not like that much Zed anymore, so... Yeah. God, is this freaking satisfying, man. My Jesus. So yeah, in the corner of the map, yeah, we do have... You know, just like a little backyard. We got like a house with a car. Relatively standard stuff. It is, you know, a well put together map. It kind of like fits everywhere. You know, we obviously got the pool, we got a freaking gas station called the Zed Petrol Station, and, and look at this shit, man. Smoking allowed. What the fuck? But yeah, I got a bunch of cars, you know, you got some showers on the map, you got... Well, yeah, this shit, telling you that it's the end of the map, and some hopscotch. Easy get clap if you get to the home. Yeah, boy, look at me go. Yeah, look at me go. And, you know, obviously you can just, like, make your way up to the tippity-top of the map. My god. So, yeah, do let me know what you guys think about this update in the comments, if you guys even play ZFest. I mean, hopefully you do, because this game is... <laughs> epic beyond belief. Oh, well, there she goes. Okay, you know what I'm just gonna do? I'm gonna let every single Z spawn, and then I'm just gonna, like, whoop him with my Tesla coil. Yeah, they're probably not gonna even know what hit them. Okay, let's just place it down right here. Easy clap. Okay, Acid Buke Master, give me your fuel tank. No, he just like flew out of the map. Did you see that shit? Oh god. But yeah, for an indie developer making a game like this and actually making it function and it's actually satisfying and optimized. Oh boy. I'm just gonna be completely honest here, and I'm just gonna say that... Yeah, I've never actually been hyped about an indie game. I usually just, like, played well, yeah, triple A stuff and... Well, yeah, games of that nature. But, you know, that first kind of opened my eyes a little bit. Oh, look at that, man. Headshots beyond belief. I don't regret a single minute playing this game. I mean, this shit kept me entertained for 650 hours at this point. Yeah, it's just a freaking masterpiece. Well then, wave 7 out of freaking 8, we got the last wave and then we have the boss. So yeah, hearing myself talking about this game, yeah, it kind of sounds like I am sponsored, but I swear to god, I'm not. I mean, it would be cool. But, I mean, put Funder getting a sponsor, yeah, nah, fam, ain't gonna happen, eh, hey, boy. I mean, who knows, maybe in uh, the future, oh, my man just killed himself, I think. Or maybe a different Zed got his ass. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Has it, puke master. Okay, the majority of the Zeds have been spawned. Let's just throw down a convenient Tesla coil. How'd you get past that? The fuck? A e boy. Dude, you can literally put your boy into any single game and it's gonna fit. But I mean, the movement, the gunplay, everything is just like silky freaking smooth. I also consider this game as like an aim trainer for, you know, other games like, you know, COD, Killing Floor, you name it, because it's just so. Well, yeah, good. I mean, fair enough, this like Gordon the Chef. Dudes, yeah, they take a lot of hits. What? I mean, once you kill them, I mean, what can they do? They're fucking dead. Okay, just killed the other dudes, and now we just have the projectile Z on the map. I mean, fair enough, I just, like, killed him with his own projectile, so RIP in pieces for him. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna be showcasing this shit on the boss. Oh, and here we go. I mean, fair enough, this dude only has, like, one projectile, and it's his freaking gloves, but you can still freaking deflect him. Oh, what's he doing even? The fuck? Oh, here we go. Yeah, nice. Nope, he's doing some shenanigans there. Okay, can you actually do a projectile? And he just, like, threw it in his freaking zeds. Yeah, thanks, man. So, you know, the feature of, you know, parrying and deflecting projectiles 
It exists. It's actually quite nice. Okay, what do we have here? We got 9, that's gonna be an 8 and a 1, and let's go back into the action. But yeah, I do love these, you know, pauses in between the boss battle, kind of like gives you a bit of breathing room. Unless you're playing on impossible, that's gonna be a little bit bad. Okay, what are you gonna do? You're gonna do that. Oh, shit. It thinks, man. Okay, can we get some projectiles, fam? Uh, and that one's going a little bit long. And he just like whacked it in a freaking post, I think. Yeah, he just like whooped him with a glove. Well then, Dragonite, let's just go and whoop you uh, right up. Oh, he's on three. Well, I could just actually finish him with like a melee weapon. Or should I actually deflect and kill him with his own projectile? I mean, that would be kind of cool. Oh, here we go. Yep, I missed it, I think. Ooh! clapped but yeah this is pretty much it for the z first update we got the melee rework we got a new map we got you know a new weapon that i can't actually try out yet because it's a freaking seasonal reward oh and by the way we got a new character called the spender dude yeah not sure exactly what the hell this thing is but i bought it for 69 thousand freaking Z credits so I'm just like down on them oh, and we got Santa Claus and obviously a boy put Funder here but yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed and if you haven't already we have check out this game but yeah with that being said hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe and see you guys next episode adios